guys I am back here with another video and today guys I will be doing my own soft loss butterfly loss or stress loss whatever you want to call it um because who's about to pay 200 for it and it, it looked pretty easy it looked pretty easy to me I watched about two tutorials and I'm gonna start a picture of how I wanted to look and first I have to remove my wig I'm gonna show you guys yeah it looks kind of bad because I, I stopped caring about it because I realized I'm about to do my own hair so like and I'm kind of stressing away, but I'm gonna show you how the hair I got first. So I got this hair. It's a um one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a six pack. Probably not gonna use all of it. And the lady at the beauty supply store tried to lie to me and tell me they didn't have that. She, she just she tried to lie to me and tell me they didn't have it. Um, this I got it in one B. Dang, I did not mean to get it in one B. I meant to get it in two. I guess it really doesn't matter what color you get that in because that's not going to be showing. Then I got this, but I got the three pack and then I got this. and Because I, I don't know if it was going to be enough. And then I was going to, if it's not long enough to cover it because my locks, I want to stop at my butt. Not go past it because my mom doesn't like that, but stop at my butt. Um, So if that doesn't wrap all the way around those. Because that's pretty long. I'm going to have to tie it together and then keep wrapping. I don't know, y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and remove my wig. I'm going to take down my cornrows and everything. And blow dry my hair. And I'm going to come back when I'm ready to part my hair. But, yeah. I just wanted to show y'all what I had before I forgot or something. Okay, guys. I parted most of my hair. It's just the front that I need to part. And the back. Um, I did in new parts. Like... Not you parts, but you know, like freestyle parts. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna time lapse this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and part this side and probably not show y'all when I part this side. And I know my forehead looks big, but I do not care. I do not. At all. Anyways, yeah. So I finished parting my hair. It's it's freestyle parting, so it's like different parts everywhere, but they're neat though. So you can you can tell I did it intentionally. And the white stuff is just 
excess um excess product but i'm gonna get that off but i can't really see the back and i know i messed up in the back so i don't really want to show you the back anyways but i'm gonna start putting the locks in i'm gonna show y'all when i get towards the end how i did it but yeah guys so guys i finished the majority of my head i know it look kind of funny but i only have this one section left but i just wanted to show y'all how i do my hair i mean how i like like the process of it so i'm going to do this little this one right here just so you can see it i only have like five more braids left i'm not sure and i ran out of hair twice now so that's kind of unfortunate but it's okay though because it was worth it this took like two days yeah so it's not for the week definitely not for the week let me put my edges back out because they keep on trying to like not be edges why are you trying to get braided up you should want to not get braided up don't got me parting already so i'm just going to show you how the technique that i use and i did get a different hair when i went to the beauty supply and i didn't know that i got a different hair so please don't say anything to me this isn't the same hair that i showed y'all in the beginning that i got but you know um, gotta do what you gotta do to make it work. You know what I'm saying? So I only unbraided it. You don't have to unbraid it. I only unbraided it because there were some parts that weren't in the braid that I wanted to be in the braid that I parted off and just wanted to remember to put it in the braid. So that's why I did that. And then I'm only, you don't have to put Marshana Jam either because it could cause dandruff on certain people, but I only put more um, Shana Jam just to make it real nice and neat. So basically what i'm doing right now try to make sure i don't braid none of my edges because they're really stubborn so i'm going to do a three strand twist if your hair is already parted off and braided you don't have to do this part you can forget about this part really. but a three strand twist at the top and then leave half your head half your hair or half the braid unbraided and then just like you do um a knotless braid you only braid a little bit and then you add in your hair. I said I use a different type of hair. This hair is much more matted and kinky. And then you just braid it in as much as you can. And the reason why you want to like start at the top of the braid is because if you don't, then it'll slip out of your head. The, the, faux, the faux hair will slip out of your head. So you don't want that happening. So you just want to start at the top. Unless you got like real long hair, you could start anywhere, but my hair is short, so I'll start, I'll start at the top. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my hair that I'm wrapping around and I'm just distressing it or messing it up or, you know, taking it apart or whatever. Whatever you want to call it, I'm just doing that. And I'm going to start at the very base. start the very best of my head and then start wrapping and you make sure at the base you wrap tight you can get looser I'm gonna show y'all but you want to make sure at the base you wrap tightly you don't want to wrap loose at the base because that's the most important yeah, is the most important part I don't know but it's pretty important if, like this is especially in the front because this is the part that's going to be seen through you can do all the messing up and stuff in the back but in the front you gotta make sure the front look real good because this is the part that everybody don't see first before and they can't even see the back through it don't matter what style you do the front is always going to be seen so you want to make sure the front looks good Everything else can look terrible, but the front has to look amazing. So, keep on wrapping. I'm wrapping. I'm trying to wrap as tight as possible. It's hard with this stupid old hair that I bought, y'all. Don't. I'm, I'm going to put the, the hair on the screen. Don't buy this hair, bro. I'm going to put. I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what hair to buy. Don't buy this hair because this is not the hair that you want to buy. Because this hair is whack. It's too kinky. Like the other hair that I was using, I would have showed y'all a whole different method because I was using a whole different method. 
what I was doing was I was wrapping it around and then using the hair that I braided into my hair. I was also using some of that to wrap it around because it was just really good quality hair. And it was making my hair look so good. Like these, let me show y'all. These are the locks that I got from that and they're so cute. The ones that I got in the front aren't bad, but they too shiny. Like it doesn't look really natural to me. So once you get at the bottom, you just, you can really just leave it because it's already in place for real. You get another piece of hair that you're going to start wrapping around it and do the same process. But make sure you wrap on top of where you left off with the last piece of hair. Okay, so I'm starting off where I left off with the last piece of hair, which is right here. Okay, now to distress it, put your thumb where you want the loop to be and, and then keep on wrapping, but don't wrap over your thumb anymore. Keep wrapping on how you, like, keep wrapping the same way you were wrapping before. Don't wrap over your thumb anymore. But what I'm doing, I'm making my hair super distressed. So how I just did one loop on my thumb, I keep on putting it on my thumb, move my thumb down like this to let it be distressed and then put my thumb back in between so basically the whole lock will be distressed and you just keep on doing that till you're at the bottom and it's only still for the first couple of days y'all unless you wrap it real tight like if you're not doing distressed locks then it's gonna be stiff it's gonna be stiff so if you're just doing normal soft rocks well it really depends on how you wrap if you wrap real tight it's gonna stay tight if you wrap tight but you know kind of loose in a way it's gonna be loose but i wrap i wrap tight but as you can see i'm wrapping loose because it's it's butterfly so i can't wrap too tight like how I was making you stress, wrap it around like that and then wrap it back upwards. And then roll it in between my palms. I'm going to show you guys when I get done because I have like literally four of my braids left and I'm so ready to go to sleep and I don't want to record the rest and y'all first of all I cut my hair second of all it's still not that short so don't get off on me in the comments I don't care my comments probably going to be off anyways <laughs>
was like three, four days later. My edges aren't done, they're looking kind of rough, but it's okay. I'm just trying to show you guys how the finished product is. These are really pretty, large, but the parts, like, they're the parts are medium, but the locks are large. See, look, y'all can kind of see the parts. I don't want to take this ponytail down, but I'm gonna be able to get it. And they're like past my butt, but I don't have any pants on, so I'm not gonna show you guys. But this is the finished product, guys. Um, anyways, I hope you and I did my own lashes, yes. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button to get notified every time I upload. Um, and make sure you let me know what kind of videos you would like to see. Do you want more beauty content? Um, yeah, guys, I'm out.